Okay. You talk about product failure. Well, the product could be failing not because the drug doesn't want to work or not because the body isn't going to work with the drug or for any other reason. The failure can be simply because the drug isn't getting into the body. The thing up, though. Okay, so there are three fillers that I strongly recommend. Filler number one is Avacel. Avacel is microcrystalline cellulose. Uh, we use microcrystalline cellulose in 100% of our uh, low-dose naltrexone. It is a hypoallergenic filler. We also, as, as on our human side, we also do a lot of hypoallergenic compounding. So it's a no-brainer. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than other fillers, but not enough to make anybody upset. The second one is lactose. Now the problem with lactose is that there are people who are lactose intolerant. So we don't use lactose. And the third one is sucrose. Somebody mentioned this morning that sucrose could be used. Again, that wouldn't be my first choice. My first choice is Avacel. But as you can see, this is the reason why there, you know, there was a controversy last year, but you can see that these things aren't dissolving. My issue, product failure, okay? Is the product failing because the person is not going to respond to the drug, or is the product failing because the person doesn't have the drug?